I don't know. Welcome. Hello, everyone, and welcome to Avini Vibes. Today is September 19th, 2024. Uh, time flies, doesn't it? Like, we're getting ready for the last quarter, as I said last week. Hard to believe that September is going by fast and furiously. We are so uh, blessed to be here tonight. Um, I feel very blessed to be a part of Avini Health. Amazing company, amazing products. Uh, just, you know, life-changing and we're really really you're i feel like we're um selected to be here so if you're a guest welcome you're going to learn that this community is filled of uh education knowledge wisdom more importantly support and love it's a community that truly cares about um about you and about um the people here and the people that you might know that are needing these uh, wonderful amazing products so with that said my name is christine rolando um, i'm from new york and I love horses. My passion is horses, and I love helping people. I've been in this uh, industry of, of health and wellness for, goodness, probably 40 years now. So with that said, I wanted to take the opportunity to introduce you to Dr. Nikita Warren. She's going to share a little bit tonight. You're in for a treat because we have two also, we have Two other people that are going to speak tonight that, um, you know, we sometimes don't have things planned, but sometimes I reach out to people and say, would you come forward and just share? So we have Dr. David Cook in the house with us tonight, and we have Stephanie Cook in the house as well tonight. So they're going to share with you, and I'm just going to let, let us roll here, Dr. Nikita. Welcome. Thank you for having welcome me. Our, our team and welcome everybody. Dr. Nikita, the floor is yours. Hi, everyone. Nice to see you. I'm so happy to be here tonight. Um, one of the things I wanted to talk about today was um, Cell Defender. Um, I've been with Avini for the last uh, almost a year now, and I've been taking Cell Defender for almost a year. And I decided to do a little uh, like a research thing for myself, and I stopped taking Cell Defender for like two weeks. Because I wanted to see, because um, when I started taking it, it was because of my mom. You know, she had such amazing benefits from it. So I decided to to um, to try to see what the difference was, because I've been taking it so long. So I did it for two weeks. No uh, cold turkey, no cell defender. I still took other products, but not cell defender. I did notice a huge difference. And that had me to research a little bit of more about what cell defender does and how it would affect me and myself. Um, one of the things that we know about um, uh, while we're here is about toxins, you know, toxins and heavy metals. And um, and we, like when I first was looking at it, why, why is it important? Why do I want to look at, you know, toxins or heavy metals and where do they come from? Um, we get toxins and heavy metals from everything, from our foods um, and our water and the air, household chemicals, anything, gasoline, oil, skincare products, all that contains um, toxins and heavy metals. You know, some things work, some things doesn't. And every single person's body affects them differently. Toxins affects them differently. Um, so one of the things that I wanted to do was figure out how this chemical or how this uh, zeolite works and works with the toxins. So um, with uh, zeolite, um, it's a naturally occurring in nature. Um, it's built over thousands of years from volcanic ash, uh, salt, salt water, a little bit of heat and pressure. And over these thousands of years, we come up with this amazing mineral. And what's so amazing about this mineral is that it scrubs toxins. Um, and we see that from the volcanic ash, it protects us naturally, right? And as a doctor, I always feel that in nature, in nature, we always find something that protects us, you know, from things that's going on around us. So um, one of the beautiful things about zeolite that I noticed with my two-week detox is that my energy level was so down, it was down. It wasn't as, it wasn't depleted, but it, I wasn't as energetic as normal. And I did a little bit more research to figure out why that was. What, what was the difference around having the, these toxins or um, having the access of the cell defender of my body, what was the difference? And so what I noticed is that um, when in my research, two things happened. I, I got really good with listening to Ritz Dyke, our, our, our scientific 
uh, our our head um, scientific medical officer, and he uh, explained some beautiful things. Um, one of the things he explained is how ATP works. Now, many people might not understand what ATP is. We know it's this little tiny molecule. We don't really know what it does, but we know it gives us energy. Um, I, you, you have any, everybody know what jacks are, right? You ever use jacks? You know, you shake jacks and throw them on the ground. You see them, right? So when you throw these jacks down, some they're like these. They have like a points on them, like six six points on them, right? And so when you throw them down, sometimes they kind of clump together, and you love that because you can pick them up quick, right? And if you pick them up quick, you're happy because, oh my God, I got all these jacks at one time. I'm energized, right? So if you look at the jacks as ATP molecules, like energy, um, if they are working properly and magnesium is which a, a mineral in our body, if it's present, then we can pick up, the, pick up the jacks and run with them and we're energized and we can do it again. You want to play again, right? Um, however, what's interesting is that if, uh, mercury, which is also, you know, a metal and it can be in our body because we can get this mercury from other things, from what we eat, in our environment, what we breathe. And if mercury is um, in our body circulating more than our magnesium, it would interfere with this energy and how that would feel, how if you can get a mental picture of it, it would be like if you threw the ball up to catch the jacks and the ball hit something and fell out and all of the jacks spread out right so if the mac if the mercury is present in our body we can't pick up all of the pieces together you know so we can't have the energy and play again so it's all separate so i can't utilize the energy i can't i don't feel like i want to play again and you know i want to go home right so so that's one of the things that happens just to give you a visual picture of atp and then what really like what's occurring in your body is that if mercury is present I can't access that energy. I can't. I can't heal my body properly. I can't heal cuts properly. Um, if I'm fighting a cold, I might not. I might feel more symptoms than normal. Um, but if magnesium is present and I don't have that mercury or heavy metals in my system floating around, um, competing for my uh, my my little spots for my magnesium. If I don't have that around, then I can access my magnesium. I can move things. I can. I feel the energy. So and that's one of the things I noticed is that um, over the two weeks, I, I felt a little, you know, uh, coughing my tick going back in my throat more. Um, I, I, I was tired going up the stairs. It was like little things, you know, they weren't drastic. It wasn't like life altering, but I just noticed my energy level wasn't as high as it normally was. Um, and one of the things that I wanted to uh, talk to you, talk to you guys about was that um, having access to a product that's, that we see in nature, right? But then having a company to be able to offer a product of such high caliber, you know, on my research, I've seen Zeolite in other places. I've seen it on Amazon. I've seen it in so many different places. And when I did the research, those places offer Zeolite and, you know, different types of Zeolite. Um, but the process in which they u utilize it is not clean, you know, because remember we cut with this, this, this crisp, this mineral is, uh, a, is, is connect is, is, um, is taken from a place, you know, volcanic ash, which is dirty. Right. And in order for us to clean it, uh, Rick Dice, uh, had a patent, you know, a patented micronization process, which cleans the zeolite. Right. And when he did that, he created this huge um, opening in which we can utilize natural natural resources to clean our bodies. And there's and it's such a small mineral that it can float around in our blood and, and clean up those little um, heavy metals or toxins, right? And just to give you a, a, if some people are here that don't actually know what zeolite does or what it looks like, it's almost like a, a flat honeycomb you know, with little holes in it, right? And if it's flat and it has little holes in it, those holes are like um, like pores, and, you know, and the me heavy metals and toxins can be attracted to those little pores. Now, you might say, I have natural, you know, heavy metals or minerals in my body. So how would that work? How does it work? How does it filter out the good calcium from the mercury, you know, like that? Well, what it does is this. Because heavy metals in our lives, in our bodies, or in nature, they're they're um, a particular charge. 
this beautiful zeolite mineral attracts those uh, negatively charged, uh, um, those charged um, heavy metals. And because they're small and the structure of the, the zeolite, they're, um, they kind of wedge inside a little crevice, right? And it's, it's also awesome because they can stick in that little crevice and if a calcium, which is a much bigger molecule, if it comes through, it can't quite fit in that. It can be in there, but it can't fit. So when your blood is flowing, a calcium might fly off and a potassium might come on, right? But it'll keep circulating in your blood and keep going because it's not going to be stuck in that, in your zeolite cage, right? But those heavy metals, they get wedged in there and they get stuck in there, and which is good because our body doesn't recognize um, the zeolite uh, as a as a toxin, it recognizes it as like dirt. So what 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 our body does if it takes in a speck of dirt, it makes it goes to our urine or our feces. So it it recognizes the heavy metal and moves it through because it's it's like it's almost like it masks it. Like Halloween, it put a mask on and can't see it, and that that's the beautiful thing about it, right? And so one of the things I also wanted to say is that. Noticing the change in my life for two weeks, you know, not taking a product and then taking it again, I, I, I was amazed. You know, I, I went from um, uh, having mental fog to being clear and my meetings, being able to, you know, like it was like I can see the difference in myself and speaking um, in my energy level. My sister was like, wait a minute, is someone coming over? Why are you cleaning like this? You know, why, why are you cleaning up like this? You know, and I was like, no one's coming over. But I realized it was three days that I was back on my 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 regimen. And then the other thing is, it's really important to realize that we're taking in toxin every single day. We're breathing, we're drinking. And it's not, you can't be scared of what your surroundings are, right? But to have a product to be able to help you, help your body stay healthy, you know? To be able to say, okay, I'll take this product to protect myself, to be able to cleanse myself so that my body can work better. So it can be effective in healing myself in, 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 my, in running around and thinking and doing everything. So if I get a cut, it's going to heal faster. If I'm suffering from a disease or I'm suffering from something, I can take something that will clean the heavy toxins up or clean out with that which I can't protect myself from so that my body works it at its best, okay? And I love that aspect of it, you know? Um, is there any questions so far about the zeolite? Or the ATP. I know I was trying to. I was trying not to use too many medical terms with talking about ATP, but I want you to get a, a visual of the energy, but also of um, understanding that mm. to have access to something that you don't see before, you can't see it, you know, but you can definitely feel the symptoms of it or the effect. Well, you know, I I appreciate mm. your illustration or your word picture of the jacks. You know, it's been a long time since I played jacks, but that was really way to describe it so that visuals thank you so much okay so dr nikita thank you so much that was a great presentation on the cell defender and um what we're going to do is we're going to don't go anywhere okay because there might be questions that percolate i have uh two other guests with us tonight uh dr cook and and stephanie cook who wants to go first dr cook or stephanie <laughs> stephanie's pointing that way well you know what stephanie rogers on that side of you on the screen so we'll let david go first dr cook David's with us, unmute please. And um, we're kind of jealous because you got a beautiful background going on there in Utah and the beautiful mountains. Thank you. Yeah, I'm up in uh, Little Cottonwood Canyon. Uh, up above Salt Lake. don't mind just sharing what's happening. It's beautiful. Uh, right next to uh, the Alta Ski Resort. Uh, yeah, it's gorgeous. Uh, it looks so pristine, but at the same time, we know that there's um, natural things, uh, including arsenic and and lead that uh, we get exposed to, uh, just as uh, Dr. Nikita was mentioning. Mm -hmm. um, as far as for uh, myself, um, it asked uh, uh, me to describe my background. Um, I graduated from med school in 2001, and since then, I've been practicing family medicine, pain management, and regenerative medicine. Um, and it's been good in some ways. Um, however, um, I, I think that 
made it a little bit more difficult for me to uh, recognize and, and accept um, the benefits, particularly of, of the cell defender. Um, but once uh, I, I read the research, um, I was convinced. Um, and that uh, opened my mind to um, some of the other products that have um, really been, been helpful. Um, one in particular, um, so I've been taking the, the cardio care since it came out. Um, and there were, uh, after I'd been on it a little while, uh, I noticed that there were some days where I'd feel a little bit kind of lightheaded and I'd take my blood pressure and it'd be a little bit too low. Um, so I ended up having to, to come off some of my, uh, blood pressure medicines. Um, and, uh, um, um, we're going to be checking my, my cholesterol shortly. Uh, so I look forward to seeing that improve. And it would be really nice to get off of the, the atorvastatin, the cholesterol medicine that I'm on. Um, Are you using the fiber? Yes, I am. And the trim science and the hydration. Well, we're excited to hear more about that, your, your journey. How long have you been taking the cell defender? Um, so off and on since, um, March of 23, um, pretty consistently, um, for probably a year. Mm. Great. And, and what about the fiber? Um, also more consistently in the last couple of months, uh, particularly, uh, instead of just maybe once a day doing it, um, before the, the bigger meals, two or even three times a day. Mm. Carol, excuse me. Um, is the sound clear for you? Yes. Is everybody, the sound clear for you? Yeah. No, it might be me, right? It might be mine. That's yeah. You've, okay, you've been ahead. kind of you've been freezing a couple of times. Yeah, I thought so. Okay, so I'm gonna gonna uh, move over there, and you guys, Doctor Cook, if you would just continue, please. Um. Sure. Uh, I, one of the other things that I've really noticed a benefit from um, has been the uh, is immunity mm -hmm. um, mushrooms. Um, I, I wasn't uh, anticipating getting any benefits. I didn't think I had much wrong. Um, however, um, I am generally somewhat uh, introverted and um, in more uh, emotionally stressful situations, I tend to, my, my main coping mechanism is uh, kind of withdrawing. Um, and that uh, put some stress on on my marriage to Stephanie. And I found that since taking the uh, immunity, um, I am able to stay more engaged. I don't fall in, I don't have to use that uh, coping mechanism. Mm -hmm. um, I, I I stay in the trenches uh, and, and maybe we can talk about it instead of me withdrawing. Wow. Wow, that's powerful. That's really powerful. Can I ask a question? Sure. sure. You ask I'm, a question, Dean. I'm very interested in the whole notion of regenerative medicine and how you understand the idea of regenerative medicine as it applies to Avini and to the vision that we're holding within this company for bringing health really to the world and taking more responsibility. So mm -hmm. is that clear, that question? Um, sure. Um, the, generally speaking, the, the regenerative medicine side of, of, of my practice was um, uh, doing uh, uh, PRP or platelet-rich plasma injections. Uh, in the joints, tendons, ligaments. Um, is, uh, I, when I was doing more traditional pain management, um, there's three phases of managing pain. Um, either throw meds at them, and if that doesn't work well enough, do steroid injections. And if that doesn't work well enough, then you start burning nerves. Um, and mm -hmm. it, it yeah. wasn't fixing anything. <laughs> and, and especially in the last couple of years, seeing more research about the damage that steroid injections cause, um really made me question what i was doing um mm -hmm. 
and so I started looking into um, some other things and um, looked again into uh, um, the platelet-rich plasma. And uh, it's it's been exciting seeing people actually get better, improve, and feel better, better mobility, less pain with less drugs. Mm-hmm. Um, but, but while I've been doing that, um, and when I've been seeing people for pain management, um, I start talking to them. To them. At first time I see them, I'm doing a history and physical exam, um, and they'll mention that they have pain somewhere. And so I'll, I'll pull out a little bit of a uh, plus relief and we'll, we'll put that on and continue on with the rest of the uh, history. And then toward the end, I'll ask them again, how that, how that pain is doing. And it, it's kind of fun to see how much uh, the, the pain is, is improved by that. Mm. That's so the, I mean, they're, they're not uh, opposed. Um, I, they can definitely work together. Yes. Beautiful. So, uh, do you have other practitioners? Yeah, the um, we had. We, go ahead, Jane. Dad, you I want to answer the Utah area, just in general, because I feel like this whole conversation, you know, being brought so that more people can become aware through, you know, because they're going. So many people are in chronic pain. Like I don't know the stats on that, but it's off the Richter scale. You know, and we're all aging now. The aging population is also insane, right? The numbers. So I'm just kind of curious about that, that network of, of of just more holistic oriented MDs. Cause you do end up, um, I'm in an energy medicine program, um, Quantum University. And it's like, you almost do have to stop the other stuff for a little while and figure out, how, you know, where you're at with this and then be able to incorporate that in more integratively. Is that the word? Integrative medicine, right? Is more like what I'm That's an excellent way to describe it. Because it is integrating the mm-hmm. more the allopathic or the scientific side and the more natural side, uh, both of which have, have, have definite strengths. Absolutely. We need it all. But for us to be able to bring that into the conversation in a cooperative fashion and help people get educated. Yeah. Not be afraid to ask those questions and look for people like you. Thank you. Yeah. Great question, Jane. Thank you. The the pure P I I was looking into that recently. Well, I'd say recently Craig's uh, motorcycle accident was one year ago on Monday. So that was something that was brought to the forefront recently. So here in New York, um, you know, I hadn't had the opportunity to know of anybody, but he is taking the cell defender and he's he's doing the other products as well. I know I'm probably breaking up. So um, David, I'm going to let you uh, finish up and then uh, we'll have Stephanie come forward. And I know that I might be freezing. So I'm going to go ahead and go off camera and move. (laughs) All right. Um, but the, the only uh, other product that I've really noticed um, uh, a big benefit from has been the, the Trim Science. I've uh, been using it as a, a pre-workout. Uh, I like to swim a couple of times a week, and I would uh, take the, the Trim Science before, and I found I could swim faster and farther, um, and which makes it more fun. <laughs> um, and then uh, right afterwards, uh, taking the hydration, and then go home and before breakfast uh, have the have the fiber. Wow, um, Stephanie. Well, and David, do you want to share about the silver too? Um, sure. Boy, I've been using the silver for quite a while. Um, I, I was first um, exposed or, or convinced. Uh, about the silver um, when I was uh, driving some friends home from, from the airport um, their, their extended family had gone on a cruise and I picked them up and as we were loading their stuff in the back of this big van um, I could hear them coughing and sneezing and they all caught something on the cruise um, so as I'm driving them home I'm, I'm just trying not to breathe and, and knowing that I'm getting exposed to whatever they're getting, they, they brought back um, and uh, when you know it, the, the next morning I started to feel kind of a tickle in my throat. And I thought, oh boy, here it comes. Um, and Stephanie suggested, um, well, you might try the silver. And I was like, oh, okay, why not? Um, so I 
did some uh, tent sprays in the morning. Um, and when I got to work, uh, the, the tickle was gone. It, it wasn't just reduced, it was gone. It, was, it wasn't there anymore. Uh, and I, I called Steph and said, this, this is pretty cool that it made it go away. Uh, and she suggested doing it again, just to, to make sure. And I, it didn't come back. Um, and there's been a, a number of times where um, at the clinic where, especially in the winter time, uh, somebody would come coughing and sneezing and bring something in and often uh, spread it to other people in the clinic. Um, and as, as soon as they would start to have those sorts of symptoms, uh, we'd have them um, spray the silver and uh, it would make it so they uh, didn't get everybody else sick, but also were able to, to stay and work and, and feel better. Wow. Now, the interesting thing about that is I let him take my silver to work that day because I had one bottle of silver. And, you know, I'm like, just take it with you. You'll take it again. And he's like, okay, whatever. If you didn't believe me. And and then when he comes home that night, I said, hey, where's my silver? And he goes, well, it's at work. And I said, but I need it. And he goes, well, I need it at work, too. So you're going to have to buy another one. And so he was he was hooked and he never did bring me back my bottle. So that was that was sad and exciting all at the same time. Uh, I love it. Steph, why don't you uh, come on board and just share um, how you had to get that bottle of silver back from him or get him to buy his own? <laughs> and uh, what's, so, what's so special about these products for you personally? Well, so I have been, I, you know, my story has been very unique because I actually, I learned about the cell defender in a previous company and immediately I took it to go and help my uncle who had, was in kidney failure and we were able to get him out of kidney failure. I personally had beautiful uh, blood work. According to the blood work, I had no problems with me. And so for me, I just started taking it preventatively because, you know, you become a product of your product, right? Because if I can't tell anybody what it does for me if I don't take it. So I started taking it myself, um, just the cell defender in that previous company. And immediately I started noticing that I had less brain fog. Um, interestingly, even though on paper, my blood work is beautiful. I also have ADHD. I have dyslexia. Um, I dealt with a whole lot of mood issues. Um, and I also had a lot of suicidal thoughts. I had been dealing with suicidal thoughts since I was 12 years old. And, um, but that doesn't show on blood work. <laughs> so <laughs> on blood work, I was beautiful. And, um, and so I didn't figure that these would do anything for me, but I started using them because that's, you know, the way that they suggest. And and fast forward um, about a year and a half when Avini started, uh, I had PTSD, uh, MLM PTSD from the previous company and, and was not interested in doing this again. And my brother actually was like, come on, Steph, let's go do this. Let's keep our genealogy the same. Cause I had, you know, signed him up in the previous companies. Like, if you want to be above me, you're going to sign up today. So I, you know, I reluctantly did it, but I was interested in the plus relief because one of the things that I also dealt with was a lot of chronic pain. Uh, I had been in a car accident in 2001 and another one in 2020 where I was rear-ended. The first one, um, I was a passenger. My mom said, hey, look, they're going to hit us. And so I did. I turned to look, which you should not do. Um, and so that messed over my body pretty good. And then in 2020, I was teaching a daughter how to drive a stick shift. And she stalled the car and the car behind us plowed into us. And, and so both cars were um, were totaled. So I, I had a lot of issues from that. So I was interested in the plus relief and how that would go for me. And, and so I signed up with the biggest pack because that was the only one that I could get all the different kinds of plus relief in. And I immediately took the oral one up to my friend up the street because she dealt with migraines and um, I wanted to be able to see what it would do for her. And then I started using the roll on the roll on. I still carry in my pocket. I always have it on me. And, um, it, because, you know, at the time I used it a lot on me. Well, the interesting thing is, is that I no longer use it on me very often, probably only once or twice a week, but I always carry it in my pocket because it's really fun when I see someone else that's limping 
or, you know, complains about something hurting. I'm like, can I try something on you? And so, and that's really fun to watch because I don't really tell them anything about it. They, they usually will say yes. And so I'll put it on them and then we'll just continue on with our conversation. And all of a sudden, you know, I'm like, so how's that doing? And they're like, oh, it, it, you know, and it's just suddenly they start moving, whatever it was, or it's my favorite. But I, once I put, I actually met someone on the side of the road to give him some Girl Scout cookies. And I put it on him real quick because he's telling me that his back was hurting. Like we're literally on the side of the freeway. <laughs> and he put it on him. We got in our cars. We went on our way. And 10 minutes later, he calls me and he's like, what did you put on me? Because my back that has, you know, hurt for since I was 12 years old, doesn't hurt for the first time. What was that? And I'm like, <laughs> this Asian cobra venom. And so <laughs> it's always my favorite, you know, and then I explain more, obviously. But the Plus Relief is was my very first, you know, exciting product with a beanie. Um, you know, beyond the 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 brain fog going away, I also um, enjoyed, you know, better energy, better sleep better um just um less sugar cravings things like that from the from the cell defender those are things that i really noticed from that now the interesting thing is within that time period david and i got married and david was not interested he was very you know not adamantly uninterested but he he was very clear that he was not interested. And so when my products came, I used the plus relief and I took the other one up to my friend and the rest of them just stayed on the shelf and I did not use them. And uh, I, I continued using the cell defender a little, but not like I was because I didn't want that rift in my brand new marriage. And we actually, my dad suggested that we go to the Las Vegas summit in 23, in March of 23. And we didn't happen to have anything going on that weekend. And strangely enough, David wasn't working on that Friday. And so we're like, let's take a drive. I love to drive. Um, and so we went down there and David sat and listened to Rick Deitch speak and he listened to the other things. And it was amazing to like, he was sitting there on his phone and I was really frustrated with him because I'm like, why are we even here? This was your idea. But it turns out he was actually looking at research. And so he, um, as, as he, as he learned, went through these things, he actually found a study that was co-authored by Eric Deitch. And he goes, Steph, do you know who Eric Deitch is? And I'm like, I don't know. The guy on stage is Rick Deitch. Let's go ask him if he's related. Maybe it's a brother. So we go up and David's like, you know, who is Eric Deitch? And he goes, well, that's me. Rick is short for Eric. And that was, you know, kind of exciting and to learn. And all of a sudden that just gave David a whole new excitement for what this was. And so, you know, he, they asked questions, they spoke doctor, which is like way above my head, you know, in, in those 15 syllable words that I don't use. And, <laughs> um, and then, you know, we went home and we, and we did blood work so that we could see where we were starting. And then we started on products. Well, the cool thing for me was that two weeks later, two weeks later, the suicidal thoughts that I had fought for 32 years we're gone and they still <laughs> they were gone and I didn't tell my husband because nothing that we were taking we're supposed to do that and you know all of the things were for immunity and for you know heavy metals and for all of these things and I couldn't imagine what was doing it and I just kind of sat with that and was excited about the fact that they were gone, but didn't know how to deal with it. And it was actually about a month and a half later, I was talking to a friend and she she shared that her 12-year-old granddaughter had just attempted suicide and was in the hospital. And so I decided, you know, I, I told her what was going on for me, which was the first person that I shared that with. And, and she... She's like, whatever you're taking, I need it. And I need it now. And so I, I laughed. I'm like, I'm taking everything. I don't know what's doing it. And she's like, well, I need it. I need it for her. And so I went home and I took myself off of everything. Just like, you know, Dr. Nikita was talking about. And um, 
And immediately everything came crashing back, you know, within about a day, everything that I was fighting was crashing, came crashing back. And I slowly went on each product one by one because I wanted to see what was doing what. And what I learned was it was the immunity mushrooms that made that difference for me. Um, and and we've kind of talked with, with Rick a little bit and, you know, his whole thing is, is well, that's what, what it's supposed to do, but I'm really excited it's doing that for you. <laughs> and um as long as I'm taking those immunity mushrooms, at least one in the morning and one at night, I don't have problems. If I'm on my period, um, then I have to take an extra one during that week in the morning, uh, just so that my husband gets to keep his head, because otherwise I tend to, you know, take that off a little bit. Um, <laughs> but um Anyway, but for the most part, I only take one in the morning and one at night, and and I still keep that. It usually, I but if I go off of them for more than a couple of days, then then those those thoughts will start to creep back in, and I just immediately go grab my mushrooms, and then they go away, and it's really nice. Um, the silver, like David talked about, has been amazing for us. We've had a lot of fun with that. Um, I I never did get my bottle back. I did have to buy more. But it's been fun when people are having itchy eyes or, you know, runny noses or tickling their throat or sore on their body. You know, we'll spray some of the silver on it. And it's so fun to see everything change and how quickly it does. I have a little girl that I um, that I cook with every other weekend that's allergic to cats. And we have four inside cats. And she will go and she will rub her face in those cats. And I just... <laughs> She, she'll come to me and, she, you know, big red puffy eyes and stuff, you know, help me. So we'll spray the silver in and just within a few minutes that that itch goes away. And it is so cool to watch that happen. Um, the, but, and then the silver gel is one of my, I mean, I say it is one of my favorites, but realistically, they're all my favorites. You know, you have a hard time picking a favorite child. Um, all the Zimunity products are my favorite and I tell people that all the time um because I love them all for their own reasons the set the the gel anytime that you get a rash uh, my daughter uses it for the acne on her face and you know the best thing that we've ever found um anytime that you've got a rash you know women we have those undercarriage issues and and you put those on <laughs> those and it, the rash goes away pretty quick and that's amazing um and and so the the cell or the the silver gel I carry with me as well at all times, um, and you know it's interesting. Um, I've been taking the the plus mind and vision since they started it in April, and we were at you know at the summit and they shared about it, and I immediately went and got it because another one of the awesome things about me is that I had zero comprehension. Um, I could read a sentence and have no idea what I read by the end of the sentence. And, you know, to read a book was just agonizing, especially to read a book out loud. And and taking notes was horrible. Like school and I were not friends. I wanted to be a teacher at one point, but then I realized you had to spend every day in school the rest of your life. And I decided that that was not what I wanted to do. Um, but in taking the, the Plus Mind and Vision, as we took notes at the summit, we actually, the, the first day, if you look at my notes, I'll get two or three words down in a sentence, and, and then I don't have any of the rest of the sentence, because by then the thought is gone. And it, by the, I took the, the dose on Friday, and then I took another one on Saturday, and by Saturday, my notes are full, complete sentences, because I could write down the entire thought before I went back to get another one and write down the next thought, and that was huge for me, and then David and I were on a trip in May, and he brought a book along, and he's like, I want you to read this with me, and I just rolled my eyes, because ugh, that's not going to do any good for me, but I'll read it for him, whatever, so I did. I read this book out loud for him, and at the end of it, I still remembered what it was about. It was about Viktor Frankl and future vision and, and you know, and the, being in the concentration mm -hmm. camps and how he got through it. And, and you know, even now, I still remember that. Uh, also, I had a really hard time with names. Someone would introduce themselves to me and that that name would be gone in seconds. You know, I would have to read, I'd have to have them remind me multiple times and see it on their name tag for me to have any comprehension of names. 
But in June, I went on a trip with my uncle and I met this amazing guy in Reno named Daniel and his wife, Anne, and a couple people in a restaurant we talked to, um, you know, Colleen and and Tina the Beautiful. And, you know, it's been fun to remember names because that was something I couldn't do before. And uh, so the, the plus mine envision has been huge for me. Uh, with that, I take three in the morning. And right now I'm actually taking two at night. David takes three in the morning and one at night. Or no, he takes two in the morning, two at night. And and so I take the other two from his dose so that we can, you know, work through our, our three pack every month. <laughs> but um, but that's been a fun, you know, that that watching those changes have been huge and exciting. And, and having that memory in the recall has been amazing. Um, the, I'm trying to think. I wrote a list of the products out so that I could check them off as I talked about them. <laughs> the, and, um, with our pets, we started giving our pets the cell defender. And you know, like I said, we have four cats and we have a German shepherd and all of them lost weight. It was amazing because they were all kind of fat cats. And they in, in, in our German shepherd, I'd like to talk about how she's our biggest, fattest cat. And um, and they all lost weight. They are all doing amazing. Their, their coats are cleaner and, and, you know, they don't shed as much. And suddenly our cats became cuddly cats, which they were not before. And so that's been a, a really fun thing to watch. I actually will pull out my bottle and I'll shake it. And my one cat will come running and she'll actually open the side of her mouth. She'll like, you know, so that I can put it in her mouth. I don't even have to open it anymore. She'll just come up running. And, and then as I give it to the other one, she's like addicted to it. She wants to get more. She likes a couple more hits of it. And it just makes me giggle. Um, and so wow, that's been that's exciting to watch. Cats, yeah. you know, I, I use the silver on my cats because she gets these things over her eyes, you know. So I've been using mm -hmm. the silver and I and she won't let me give her the drops, but I put it in her water and she drinks it that way. But you you're right on point. Um I said to my husband recently, I said, Sophia's like so cuddly now, because she wasn't mm -hmm. that way. And that's an interesting point because I've noticed that with her. And I yeah. didn't really the correlation but there's a question about um nano silver and i don't know stephanie if you want to answer this you want your husband or chip to answer this about colloidal silver afraid of uh, afraid of silver because it makes your skin blue but so the fun thing is is you remember that guy i told you about in reno his name was yep. daniel and his wife yep. Anne. the reason that i met him was because i was walking through and i i stopped and i said do you use colloidal silver and he goes, I do. Why do you ask? I said, well, because you're blue. And and he goes, oh, well, yeah, it's because silver is so good for you. You know, blah, blah, blah. It's because those those particles are getting stuck in your cells. And you know, I can I can let David or Chip speak to why that happens. But it, I actually got to meet Daniel, who was blue because he used colloidal silver. And so it was fun to be able to share with him that we had other options that were available that wasn't going to get stuck and that would move throughout your body and, and you know, move through your body without getting stuck. And that, that has to do with the, 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 do I get it right, guys? The silicate oxide yeah. covering. Thanks, Chip. I love the thumbs up. Um, Chip unmuted, so he's going to share a little bit, I think. Chip, do you want to jump in? Well, I, I like it when Stephanie's on a roll here, and, you know, it's kind of cool. Her, her husband and dad and brother are all here, and I remember meeting her before all this good stuff started happening, and she did love to drive, but as she headed off, you know, after uh, an event that we were at, I kind of felt danger for her, you know, as she was going forward, and now all these wonderful things have happened and mm. and uh it's i'm sure it's quite a relief for all the men that are on the call that are involved in her life with her but yeah no doubt um here, here's how i say the silver thing <clears throat> people know that silver will kill microbes right and so it's been used externally or uh like Pioneers would drop a piece of silver in their in their milk or their water to try to keep it fresher, that kind of thing. Um, but to use it internally becomes tricky. And that that blue color that Stephanie talked about isn't you know considered to be dangerous, but it is permanent. It, once you turn blue, you're blue. The condition is called argyria. So the mobility of the sugar, 
I'm sorry, of the silver is important. Uh, and on the opposite end of the spectrum, so that that's too large. Colloidal silver, the, it's kind of undefined as far as how big it is, but most of it's going to be chunks that are big enough to get stuck in you. They don't move in and move out properly. And they, they will turn uh, human cells blue. Some people do it intentionally as a background for tattoo artistry. You'll believe it or not. I mean, it, it is, it's going to happen. Um, if you go to ionic silver, those are silver ions, single, single atoms of silver. That works outside and in as well, but it's too deadly. It's not selective. It'll kill your immune cells, your microbiome. The reason that a Vini Nano safe spherical silver is so important is that it moves quickly into your body. It selectively kills the things that you want killed and does not harm your immune system or your microbiome and leaves uh, in, in a day or less. So it's in and out properly. It needs to be mobile. Size, shape, and charge throughout this product line are really, really important. And certainly with the silver, we, we took a run at it early on. You guys, some of you that have been around for a while remember, um, we, we, we had uh, you know the nano silver, but we couldn't hold the size, shape, and charge. And, you know, blessing to uh, Doug Dickey because he searched the world over. And what we found was, you remember um, uh, black and white photography, the paper, when exposed to the chemicals, would create a picture. But you couldn't use that same paper to create another picture, right? It, it, it was permanent. That's basically the idea that stabilizes Divini nano safe spherical silver in 200 atoms in a ball, which is how we want it. What we do is we have a coating of silver oxide tetrahedrons around each of the little balls of silver that keeps it from getting bigger or smaller. Colloidal too big, ionic too small, Avini nano safe spherical silver is the one to use inside your body. So that was my little summary at the end. Colloidal too big, ionic too small, that becomes too deadly. And so that Goldilocks size, shape, and charge is a Vini Nano Safe Spherical Silver. And for um, purposes of biology and network marketing, a Vini has exclusive access to that product worldwide. Thank you, Chip. Thank you so much. So uh, what I'm going to do is, Stephanie, give you back the floor for a couple minutes, and then we're going to go to Dr. Nikita, and we're going to then we're going to go back to David, and uh, just let's see if this okay. So Stephanie, what else do you want to leave us with? Um, so basically, like I said, I'm using all the products. I've found fun things with each of the, the products, um, and you know, I I think the only the only other one that really shocked me was the. Uh, the Avini Plus Energy, because I, my whole life, anytime I used anything with caffeine, it puts me to sleep. And so I, I avoided that one immensely. I do a lot of driving. Um, and, and in fact, you know, like Howard always jokes about how he doesn't recognize me unless I'm sitting in front of, in my car. Um, <laughs> so, um, I, I do a lot of driving and sometimes long, long, long hours. And so I had it with me, but I was afraid to try it because I didn't want to go to sleep. Right. And, and so one night I was driving, it was super late, like three o'clock in the morning and, and I was exhausted and I thought, okay, I've got three more hours to home. I can either pull over and go to sleep or I can try it. So either way, I'm going to go to sleep. So I may as well try it. And it was amazing. I, I took it and, you know, it's like Chip always says, it's like turning the, the brights on. And, and so it, it helped me to be awake. It helped me to be um, aware. And even after all those hours of being awake and it, it didn't put me to sleep and, and, and it was able, I was able to get home. And then once I got home, I was easily able to go back to go to sleep. So it didn't keep me up for hours, which was wonderful as well. So that's one of the things that I've noticed as I use the plus energy, I keep it in my car and, and I don't use it very often, but when I do, I really only use about a quarter of the bottle. I don't use a lot of it. 
And so I'll use it over a few days, but um, I'll take about a quarter of the bottle and it'll keep me awake. And then if I've been driving long enough, I'll take another quarter of the bottle. But, um, but it's been amazing to see, even though regular caffeine will still put me to sleep, um, like if I go get a soda or something that has caffeine in it, uh, it does that. Um, but with ours, because I'm guessing because it's natural caffeine, that it doesn't do that. Interesting. Dr. Nikita, any comment before we, we part? Yeah, I just wanted to say, I know that a lot of times with the toxins and the buildup, we, we tend to... Re we, we realize we have a lot of symptoms, right? But just don't forget about our unborn people. You know, the, the mothers that are pregnant and the unborn fetuses, they're exposed to so many things before they've been born. You know, the average newborn is like 200. They have 200 different industrial chemical, chemicals or pollutants in their blood when they're born. So just don't forget our, you know, our people that are pregnant or um, anyone that are, is nursing anything like that, because this is something that I think will be invaluable to them to just get their child or themselves on the, the right path early. And then the other thing I wanted to close with is don't forget about the doses recommendations. One thing that I learned in my research the last couple of weeks is that, yes, the first month we all all get our, like, I guess it's our um, the recommended dosage for like the detox dose. And that's like four, 10 drops four times a day. And then after that, you can go to the maintenance dose, which is like 10 drops a day. Um, however, after six to 12 months, it's always best to repeat the um, the like the detox dose just to make sure that you're cleaning everything out. So I just wanted to say that I didn't remember that. So I, I'm glad I, I'm going to do that one myself. You know, I want to share one more thing on that. Um, so like I said, I started using the Cell Defender uh, product with the previous company back in, in uh, March of 21. And I used it a little off and on all that time. But it was interesting, last September, so 2023, uh, September 2023, um, David and I decided that we were going to try for a, another child. We were going to add one more child to our to our family. And um, so he went and got a, a reversal of, of that situation. And so I started immediately taking the cell defender in large doses. Yeah, I took it, started taking the crisis dose, the Marcy dose of the cell defender, you know, a squirt of it every hour that I was awake. And it was interesting. Another thing that didn't show up on blood work was that I had had intensely heavy menstruation. Um, I bled 10 to 15 days every month. I'm sorry, 10 to 15 days every 21 days. And so I didn't bleed the same amount of time that most people did. And uh, once I started taking that that large dose of that, my my menstruation actually evened out. And so in October, I had an eight day. And in November, I had a seven day. In December, I had a six day. And then in January, I actually got pregnant. And then I actually had a miscarriage in February. But in that miscarriage, I actually was able to, I, I bled for five weeks afterwards, which is not normal. And um, we did blood work. And strangely enough, everything was fine, except for I was anemic, which you know was shocking. Just kidding. It wasn't. And um, then we went and got an ultrasound. I finally got my doctor to, to, you know, do a, a vaginal ultrasound on me. And it, they, they diagnosed me with a couple of um, issues that make it so that women don't get pregnant. And I didn't know I'd had them, but I'd had the symptoms of them for 14 years. And the symptoms had actually started 18 years. They had used meds to, to even them out. And then I'd had them for the last 14 since my youngest child was born. And so it was interesting that by going on that larger dose, even though I had been taking it the whole time, it made a huge difference for me. And then since I got diagnosed with those two female issues, um, I've been continuing to do that large dose. And it's amazing how much, you know, I'm down to a, a six day with very light bleeding, which has been amazing because before, you know, it was intensely heavy and for days on end, I would bleed through everything. And, and so it's been really exciting just by adding a large dose of the cell defender, um, how different things will change. And so my favorite thing to do with people is to be like, you know, once in a while, go on a Marcy dose and see what happens because you never know what's going to happen. It can't hurt you, but sure could help amazing things.
Thank you, Stephanie. Before we go to Dr. Cook, uh, Bill Spence, you have a comment or a question? We'll give you a minute or so to go ahead. You got to unmute, Bill. Thank you. Yeah, I just have a comment. Uh, my good friend Faye from New Hampshire is here. Um, she's my guest. And she has some type of uh, viral, I think it's okay that I say this, she has some type of virus or viral condition on her on her face and um, just trying to find out if the nano silver gel or spray would be beneficial. Who would like to answer that, Dr. Nikita or David, Dr. David? I can answer it, yes. Um in, in this regard, the, the spray silver could be beneficial um, because uh, the spray silver would literally just um, unhook or uncoat the envel envelope for the microorganisms to allow her body to fight the infection. Mm -hmm. So it would literally just help her immune system fight for itself. So spraying would be good only, especially as a test to make sure that it works. The spray is lighter than the gel, you know? So just to see if it works, um, spray will be, uh, I think it will be a, a good um, solution. Great, thank you. Thank you, Dr. Nikita. Dr. David, we're gonna let you, uh, oh wow, we're almost at the hour, top of the hour. We try to, but Dr. David, we're gonna let you give some closing uh, parting uh, words for us and then chip, please. Okay. Um... I, I, I like quotes. Uh, and one of my favorites is that which works is infinitely more valuable than that which does not work. And the beginning products work. Hmm. Tip. Good, good. Well, I'll I'll, uh, jump, I'll jump in behind uh, Dr. Cook on that one. You know, he, he was talking about his frustration in his practice. And he listed the three leading things and they said in some cases they just weren't working and you know I, I have to respect a guy there there are certain you know practitioners that are making an entire career out of uh interventions that don't work make a career out of losing mm -hmm. and and to you know find something to be able to uh be able to help those that you couldn't help is a big deal and and like like he said um, what he knew before, what he knows now, work together. And that's where the word integrative comes in. But the biggest thing I got from Dr. Cook tonight, and I'm sure Stephanie appreciates this a lot, is that he said not too long ago, his his uh, mechanism of protecting him, himself was withdrawal. And you heard him tonight step forward alongside of Dr. Nikita and Stephanie to make our presentation, which was wonderful. Thank you, everybody. Thank you, Chip. Thank, Thank you, everyone, for being with us tonight. It's a blessing to be here. We're grateful well, to Stephanie Dr. Cook, and, of course, Dr. Nikita. So I just want to wish you all the best to go out there and share, Avini. Uh, let's go out and, and uh, help the world, okay? That's our that's our mission. As it, It's exciting because we're growing, but we're here every Thursday night. Feel free to invite people to Avini uh, Vibes any Thursday night, 7.30 Eastern time. And this is recorded. Thank you to Carol Witt for always helping me in the tech side of it and being there as a support. Good night, everybody. Hey, Christine, what, Christine. What an Bye. awesome call. I just wanted to introduce you to David Frost, who's right here. Robert Frost. Good <laughs> grief. Sorry about that. Um, he wrote the book Kinesthesiology, and he's oh, here. Kinesiology. Applied Kinesiology, and he's uh, brilliant and re eats all the right stuff. And he's been on these before, and he's even met Chip. And so I just wanted to say hello. He's uh, coming and going with a big family reunion in town. Is yeah, going yeah. I'm going to meet my unknown to me daughter. He has oh, a oh, well, Found well, me with well, DNA. Can you believe <laughs> Blessings to you. From Woodstock, I believe it was. Yes, my my daughter was conceived the weekend of well at Woodstock. <laughs> wow. Woodstock years I live, ago. I live very 24. close to that. <laughs> oh, that's amazing. Yeah. So yeah. let's Joyce nice let's get in touch, and we'll love to love to hear more of your story and appreciate it. Joyce, thank you for the intro, and again, thank you everyone tonight <laughs> for being here. Thank, thank you. you. Bye. 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 I love y'all. Bye, Bye everyone. Have a great day. Good evening.